What's up, y'all? Got a film of the feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into this is a heartbreaking situation by uh, royalty. Let's get it. I didn't know she dropped it last night. Private situation that was brought to the internet. But, you know, it's a sad situation. And like I said, I didn't want it to be brought to the internet. And just know you can never judge a book by its cover. And looks can be very deceiving. Predators don't have a certain type of appearance. It could be a mom, a dad, a brother, a sister, an uncle, a cousin, a teacher, a coach, old, young, it doesn't matter. And you never know until you endured this type of situation. I don't wanna get on here and get too emotional because it's a deep conversation and it's very heartbreaking. But like I said, I didn't want this matter to be brought to the internet, but it was. And I'm just gonna. <sighs> my heart and my soul is very disturbed and very broken from this whole situation and like i said you don't know people's true intentions their colors or any of that because of trauma they have had in their lives or because of whatever the situation may be but like i said i'm just gonna be here to protect my daughter and protect her decision and decision. her privacy because it's not my story to tell. I wasn't there and I don't know what she had to go through. So I'm not gonna speak about something that's very private. And I know you guys are wanting to know all the details and all that because y'all are not the detectives, y'all are not the police and that's not your job to do any of that. Like I said, I'm very, broken and I'm very disturbed about the whole situation and just to know that somebody that my kids once looked up to and called them called him dad it just makes it even 10 times worse oh god Ever since I got this information, I just asked myself, every day, like, how and why I didn't know this was happening to my child. God. How didn't I know? And. I was not expecting this. <laughs> and the only thing myself can tell me is that if I would have known this was going on, I would have never been able to see my kids ever again. Oh, Lord. This given this is very much so real. I know some of y'all will feel like it's ignorant um, when somebody feel like it's fake, but because they fake so much. They have faked so much on this app. You just never know. This seemed very much so real. People can get fake tears too, but, and I keep doing this because my neck hurt for those that's asking. Just know that I'm very proud of Julia 
for her strength and her courage for even saying anything because it's victims out there that take this to the grave that are scared to speak up about stuff like this because people don't believe them or because they're too embarrassed. It's even hard for me to get on this camera and to even have to come and clear something up like this. Because in a million year, years, I never thought this would happen to me or my family. I admire my daughter's strength for even saying anything. And I love her for that. And I thank her for that. And for you small-minded people to think that I would just sit there and let this man abuse my child with me knowing that. I don't think she would have done that. Definitely don't think she would have done that. Um, and God, they so sneaky. It could be happening right up under your nose. A lot of y'all would All right, say, let's get into the next. If she paid more attention, then it wouldn't have, you know. Have to be dumb you have to be sick yourself to think that i would just sit there and let him do this to my child there isn't enough money clout or fame for me to just sit there to let him do this type of things to my child what would i gain what would we gain from any of this full custody what to make you look bad you already make yourself look bad every single day. Every time you open up your mouth, you make your own self look bad. I don't have to do that. For hate, we already get hate from the things that you have said about us, for the things that you have said about me, which never are true. You've called me a bad mom for so many months, for so many years, and I still haven't got none of my kids taken away from me. Not one. You've sent the people to my house several times. I have to take several drug tests. I've never failed. I told y'all. Well, for money, I didn't say anything about suing you. I don't ask you for a penny now. I don't want anything from you. I didn't even want this to be brought to the internet. It was a private discussion. I wonder how her actual daddy feel about it. That got out. I didn't want this to happen. Because your mama talked Since I have it. to come up here and clear some things up, I'm going to do that. A snake will always be a snake, no matter how many times it sheds its skin. I'm so thankful for Julia's strength and her courage, and I'm just going to continue to stand behind her. Best believe I will always believe any of my kids before a pathological, lying, cheating ass, narcissistic psychopath. All you do is lie, gaslight. I'm tired of it. I had to go through this for two years just because I don't want to be with you. Now I have a stronger reason why I don't want to be with you ever. And the only mm. reason why I've been cordial with you or been trying to be cool with you is because my twins have to be around you. I have no say so in that. It's a court order. I'm just so angry and so frustrated, so hurt. I have so many emotions going through my whole entire body. I don't know how to feel about this whole situation. I'm hurt. I trusted you. My kids trusted you. 
And for you to sit up here and do some disgusting, defile stuff like this, it's heartbreaking. I don't know what my daughter went through. I don't know how she feels. Ask. I'm just so disappointed. Not just myself. Like I said, I, I beat myself up all the time. Asking myself like, how? Why didn't I see it? I don't want anything from you. And it's heartbreaking to hear the things that are being said about my twins. It's very heartbreaking. And it's sad that sometimes the law is always not on your side. Just know, like I said, I'm very proud of my daughter. I'm very appreciative of my royalty nation. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys are like my strength to even make it through these hard times with my family. Nah, it don't look like you cry. You no, just know that. I'm always gonna be there for my kids, no matter what, and I'm ready to do whatever for them. I'm ready, no matter what it is, and I'm always gonna be on their side. But I appreciate all of you guys, and... <clears throat> I don't have much to say, and I'm not gonna have much to say, because this is a very, very serious topic, and to be honest, a lot of us have dealt with something like this and I don't want to say anything to like offend you or offend whoever, you know, it's just too personal and sometimes you just need to listen anyway. But, um, in the event that this is very much so real, um, he is trifling as hell for that. Um, I just, I hate that this is happening. You know what I'm saying? Um, because it's so serious, so serious. And they, man, they've been showing us they shit for so long. I'm tired of y'all shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, it just keeps getting deeper and deeper. Um, I hope Roy, not Roy, I hope Jalea isn't being vindictive. Uh, but we don't know how. She said this to royalty, and hopefully royalty didn't coach you. You know what I'm saying? It's just, and that's why I don't want to say much. It's just a lot to this because they've been so animated on this app. So, like I said, I've been got, I've been getting a, a lot of DMs from people that that are sharing their story with me, and <laughs> just know it's not your fault, and you're not alone. And I'm praying for you, praying for your strength, your peace, your serenity. Just know that this matter is in the right hands and justice will be served. And like I said, I just admire my daughter so much and I can only imagine like, just going back, looking at everything, everything just makes sense now. Everything makes sense now. I can't be on here for too long, guys, because I didn't even want to do this. So like you guys seen out there on the internet, and I know you guys are real confused and just, just trying to piece things together. I don't know what it was in videos that supporters, fans, what supporters seen in videos. But yes, an anonymous call was made to CPS back in 2018. And they popped up at the house at three o'clock in the morning. We didn't know they were coming. This was totally unexpected. And just to let you guys know, this situation right here has nothing to do with the house that we lived in before when CPS was called before with the laxative. The laxative had nothing to do with this. That was at a totally different house. They came to the house. 
They pulled everybody to a side. They talked to everybody. Julie and the kids had to go down to the building and speak to people behind closed doors. Mm. She denied everything. <clears throat> she denied these allegations that were put upon him because yes, of course, she was 10. She doesn't know what's going on. She, she doesn't 10. know, she barely even knows right from wrong. She's a developing girl. She doesn't know anything. Yes, she denied it. She was scared. She was bribed. She was threatened. Like I said, some people take this to the grave. It's true. So everything went away from then. April 2024, after my court custody case with my twins that ended in March, Julia came to me because of things she saw, not her, saw and heard on the internet. Broke down crying and told me everything. We took immediate action and did the right thing what we had to do. So just because y'all seeing this stuff come out now, don't think that it's not being handled. I hate that this came to the internet. I tell your mama. Hate that my daughter is getting so much hate. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you guys think. You know why? Because you weren't there. It didn't happen to you. It's not your story and it's not your shoes to walk in. That's a fact. That's another reason why I don't want to say too much. Just know I appreciate you guys all. This just infuriates me. I just can't keep continue talking about this, but just know we're doing what we have to do. That's all you guys need to know. And if she decides to come out and share her story with you guys, share her trauma with you guys, she'll do that. But for right now, I'm gonna protect her privacy and her decisions. I'm sorry I had to get on here and tell you guys these things and clear these things up, but I'm just so tired of you slow-minded people that don't think before you say stuff or type something. Y'all always love to hate on the victim. I don't want nothing out of this situation. The only thing that I'm concerned about now is my daughter, Dea. Concerned Lord. about my son, CJ. Lord. That's the only th concern that I have when it comes to that individual over there. So Royalty Nation, with that being said, guys, I'm gonna go back to continue fighting this in silence. And like, share, comment. Go back to doing what? To continue fighting this in silence. And like, share. Comment, y'all know what to do. Until next time, Royalty Nation, <clears throat> I'm out. There's a lot with that I want to say. But I'm not going to. Y'all, I have 95% women that are subscribed to me, which means when it comes to certain things, we are more sensitive, right? And in, not in a position where I would be heartless. It's just more so what was said, how it's aligned, how she is in the video, things like that. And um, I can't say that it didn't happen. That's damn sure what I'm not saying. I ain't saying that. Um, but I am saying if it is true, okay, um, I hope they get whatever it is that they need out of this. And I'm saying that because 
Can he go to jail, y'all? Th these are the things that I need to know that I don't know. Can he go um, to prison? Um, can he get charged with anything? Could he potentially get the kids taken away? Yes, I'm fully aware of that part. It's just um, the rest. I don't, I don't really understand. Um, and I would, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, but that's all I got. Um, I pray that everybody's okay. You know what I'm saying? And able to, girl, I hope she get the peace that she need. Girl, Cause I'm just awful. All right. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.